that I wouldn't I feel good I knew that I wouldn't So good So good I got a year Welcome to your luxury channel. This is Hi TV. Thank you so very much for tuning in. This is a date with Nanu. On the show today, I have someone who has transformed what we see as Sri Lankan cinema. He has given it new life, he has given it new finish and so much more. This man, in my opinion, is an institution when it comes to creating great talent. I'm happy to have Chandan Ratnam on the show as my guest. Thank you for joining me on the show. Nice to be here, Danu. And you look really sharp. I love your haircut. Thank you. It's yeah. a new look. It's a new look. I like that it has brought out the youth in you. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so, I had a chat with my family just three, four days ago while we were having dinner. Mm. Means my extended mum's side came about. And one of my grand uncles are from uh, Jaffna. Okay. And he told me that he was born in Manipai, Panditirapu. Uh, my, I, I was born in Colombo, but okay. my, my uh, father was born in Manipai and uh, my uh, Manipai and Panathirup. Both yes. are same. Yeah, yeah. I was born in Manipai. Oh, really? Yeah. So, hey. There you go. Right. Are you, I, uh, was your father born at the Manipai Green Hospital? That I don't know. That's the only hospital that's there. Okay, then. <laughs> I even went and checked out the room that I was born in. Oh, really? Yeah, that's where my father and my grandfather was born. Uh-huh. Yeah, but uh -huh. now, of course, it was made into a nurse's quarters. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But so, I was happy to know that you're from my hood of the town. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, tell me about your life. How, how, how are your roots going back to Jaffna? Where does the connection come from? Well, uh, actually, my father was uh, born there and then they m he moved to Colombo. Right. And most of the life was spent in Colombo. Right. But uh, he had uh, a lot of uh, attachments in family in Jaffna. Right. And in later years, in his later, later years, he even built an institute of uh, cultural uh, affairs uh, named after my mum. Tamil Pesa Vangala? Konjam Pesa Elam. Pesa Elam. Vilanga Manan Tamil Lagacha? Konjam. <laughs> there you go. Just wanted to check whether he can like, he can actually like sort of see you and understand what I'm saying. All right. I, I feel ashamed that I don't know Tamil, <laughs> but, but, then, but I lived abroad for 40 years and my Sinhalese and Tamil are not perfect. Yeah, but that's totally fine. But you have embraced all sides. Of course. That is of true. Course. All right. We need to get into a break because we are going to come back with so much more because according to Matthew is out, a movie that has been, wait, we were waiting for it for so long and so nice to know that it's back on the big screen. We're going to speak more and of course the person who completes him is going to be joining on the other side. Ah! Welcome back to the show. With me right now, I have Nihara. I love you in the white dress. Thank you. You look like the runaway bride. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Never thought really about nice. That. Yeah, really nice. Thank you so much for joining me on the show. Uh, to start things off, when did you find Chandra? 
When did I find or when did he find okay, me? Okay, one of the two, sir. <laughs> when did you all find each other? She was a runaway bride. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you said it. <laughs> <laughs> so, when did you all meet and how did you all meet? Oh my goodness, we met uh, <clears throat> 1997, 1997. Okay. Right. Uh, August. Okay. I was I was going to India for a training session because I just uh, got a new job uh -huh. um, as marketing manager for a company called Oriflame and I was being sent there for a, for a training and he happened to see me in, in the, at in the, the airport at the airport wow. yeah. and, uh, and it's such, such a coincidence that I happened to gate crash his party that same night. Oh, so that's how it it happened. <laughs> I, I I was on my way for uh, at for a film fair occasion. I was hosting a party at the Hyatt Penthouse. <laughs> right, and uh, in in uh, Delhi, right? Delhi. Delhi, yeah, in Delhi, and I had seen this chick <laughs> at the chick. airport, uh. and then uh, you know I thought she was a South Indian uh, cute little thing, uh, Meenachi type. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Meenachi. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> I like this movie okay. actually. <laughs> and then, and then uh, <clears throat> I got on the plane and I was traveling first class and, and I went to the economy to check out whether Nina she was she there. Was there. Yeah, and I didn't <laughs> see her. And then I went and went ahead with my party and uh, lo and behold, uh, I had invited uh, um, the, the uh, country, manager. country manager for Sri Lankan Airlines <clears throat> as one of my guests. Right. And uh, they, uh, all of a sudden when they, they brought her along. Wow. And I said, hey, I saw you today at the airport. <laughs> and who, who popped the question first? Uh, he did, of course. Did. No, it was a, like a gradual. A gradual process. Yeah. But was there a controversy over the fact that, you know, there's an age gap <laughs> and the fact that, you know, marriage was there? Well, uh, yeah. you know, uh, it's a highly unlikely uh, match. Uh, match. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because uh, not, not just the age. Yeah. Uh, I'm a Tamil. She's a, she's a Sinhalese. Right. Uh, my father was Tamil. My mother was Sinhalese. So right. it's no big deal. And then uh, I'm a Christian. She's a Buddhist. Um, I come with a lot of baggage. Mm. With with four kids. Yeah, kids. And and two ex-wives. Yeah. And uh, also lived lived abroad forty years. Yeah. Uh, so there were so differences. And 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 I must say, she. Here is from a very conservative Sinhalese family, right? And she's the only child. Whoa! So a mother would certainly not w think the caricature of Chandran Ratnam to be the perfect bride groom. Yes. So uh, highly unlikely, right? But it sort of w went through. Well, sometimes opposites work. Yeah. <laughs> Was there a lot of convincing on your side? Not your really. My mother always knew that. You know, I, I, I She always knew I'll do something controversial. <laughs> Because Better to be prepared about this. <laughs> she was prepared for yeah. it from the day I was born, I right. think, probably, you know. Because I always used to do things differently. So, um, so when it happened and he went and s spoke to her first, I said, okay, go get permission, permission. from my mom. Yeah, but wait a minute. She gave me a hard time. Who? The mom or the daughter? Oh, the <laughs> daughter. Are you and the mom similar age? Uh, who's She's older? younger. <laughs> <laughs> She's young. Oh my God! Then well, she has hey, listen, to all my kids, yeah, from my first marriage, are older than her. Wow! You are eating something that I want to know what it is, <laughs> <laughs> because there is some magic touch. But you here. know, she gave me a very hard time. Oh, really? <laughs> really? We're going to get to that hard time with, of course, a st sticky situation. Do stay tuned. This is High TV. <laughs> all right. So you heard that. <laughs> Nihara's mom is younger than Chandram. So we need to see where <coughs> the run was. Well, first of all, I liked her. Mm. But I was working in Malaysia. Right. I was doing a movie in Malaysia, so it was difficult to court. Mm. And uh, whenever I came to town, I met her and this and that, got friendly. But she was not that receptive. Not that receptive. Uh, because the chase is always she, nice. She was... Uh, uh, and uh, she was not impressed with movies or anything. She, she's not a movie goer. She's okay. still not a movie buff. And she didn't care what you were doing. She didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so then uh, we went together for a couple of years. 
and uh, then there was also uh, my ex's involvement yeah. and all that and uh, she gave me a deadline right if you want to do something new new year's 31st of december is the date so that uh, new year's eve we went out i was flying to uh, see i used to cover three ladies at the same time <laughs> wow who the first second and current oh, well, and we, many oh we, 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 we are not going to those details right these are so I, used to, I used to do a little number where i used to have one new year's in in malaysia one in part of one in colombo and i ended up in los, los angeles. angeles oh wow right you finish asia and go to the I european know. countries <laughs> so i th i thought i was very smart right and then uh, she took me to the airport on new year's eve <coughs> i was going to la and she kissed me goodbye uh when i contacted her uh, she acted like you know don't contact me anymore yeah i said what's wrong with you but i was i was working in malaysia right so i started writing letters to her and all that yeah. and, every, um, day. every day every yeah. day wow and and but i don't get the right vibes, response vibes vibes so then i found out she she told me she's got another boyfriend i i had given a deadline i said you don't plot stick to it you twist <laughs> Yes. Okay. The twist to the plot. Yeah. So I checked up on the guy. Right. I have my sources. Yeah, of course. And uh, he happened to be working, you know my missing, right? He happened to be the uh, uh, he's a foreigner uh working at the Cinnamon Grand Hotel. Oh. Oberoi at that. Mm. Oberoi at that time. Now <coughs> I have serious connections with the hotel, hotel. Oh. because I had my office there and I lived there in a suite for 11 years. Oh, wow. Okay. So they all the security and all of my friends. Okay. So I called the head of security. I said I want you to check up on this chick. Yeah. And give me a report every day what's happening in the hotel. <laughs> and that's what I did. And you figured out who the man was. I figured out who the man was and uh, I figured out all the activities, so nothing serious, so I didn't Yeah. I was okay. But with at that. the same time you were juggling the other two. or three or four no i think by that time um, by the no. time they knew ah, i right. was a bit of a juggler yeah yeah but the heart was here though heart was here yeah that's great so anyway i did not see any any response coming so then then that much response so then she said will you stop bothering me i can picture you saying okay it. she said she said to me do not call me for two weeks i don't want a letter i don't want a phone call just leave me alone for two weeks <coughs> so I said okay. Uh. Then I counted the two weeks, and the two weeks ended on Valentine's Day. Oh, she didn't she didn't figure that out. All oh, right, but I it's just a coincidence. Right. So what I did was now I'm I'm working on a movie, <coughs> and I have to be there on the set. I was a line producer. I'm mm. on the set at nine o'clock in the morning, in in Penang, right, in Malaysia. So then what happened was, I figured okay, Valentine's Day. She said not to call till Valentine's Day. Yeah. Hey, Valentine's Day. I can do anything I want. Yeah. So I took a flight. that night mm. and uh, i got on a plane from uh, penang to uh, kuala lumpur kuala lumpur to singapore singapore oh, to kuala lumpur oh, wow. and 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 i had to take the turn around right back because i was working in the morning right so i had some influence with the airlines uh, about landing and turning yeah. around all uh, since i'm in the aviation yeah. industry as well so then i i came there and i brought with me what three dozen red roses 10 pairs of shoes and diamond the, ring and the diamond ring wow so i only had time to get out of the plane meet cool. her for a moment from uh, arrivals and then go to departures and get on the plane so you made him made her come to the airport yeah my 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 partner ex partner my my business partner he convinced her to come and pick something up because we said that some important document is coming with the purser from the singapore airlines right and his name was uh, mr mantur that's okay. ratnam spelled backwards okay <laughs> so we all planned this Anyway, so then I said goodbye and I got on the plane and I went as soon as I got on the plane all the stewardesses started clapping. Oh. Because they saw me what I was doing. They asked me, you know, 3000 yeah. euros. So anyway, so this how it this is what happened. Then oh. I went back. I went I went back to uh, to uh, Penang and uh, then I was then I said where did you go for New Year's Eve that night? Uh, for for Valentine's Day that yeah. that day. Oh, I went with this guy. Wow. I didn't feel too good about that. Yeah. But so then I thought this is not going to work, work out the way my 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 modus operandi is wrong. My technique yeah. is was not, not, yeah. not not effective. So luckily for me there was some hitch in the film. Right. And I came back to Sri Lanka. Okay. And I thought action. 
so I, I uh, got my art department to build a 20 foot banner. Uh. Yellow banner with black. Right. And it says, said, Niara, I love you. Will uh. you marry me? Chandra. And I put it across the Havelock Road, Anura Road, that oh area. God, when was his <laughs> love story? <laughs> and then she, then I was, then she went to work. She saw it. That was it. Meenachi has been the right choice. Let's get into a break. We'll Meenachi. see you on the other side. This is one perfect love story. Somebody needs to make a movie out of it. Let me just tell Chandram about it. <laughs> we'll see you after the break. Do stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. It's a date with Danu in conversation with Nihara and Chandran Ratnam. I want to speak about the little one. Now, you are hands on with little one. Daddy cool and your mama. <laughs> Hi mama. Yes. yes. So that's you you have like an institution to run. Yes. You yeah. are with your six inch heels, you're out and about every yes. single day. Yes. Tell me about the little one. I think she's one very cute. Yes. Uh, so tell me she's about eight her. eight plus. Um, she's such a darling, you know, and then she, she she goes to Musius College, which yeah. was my, my school as well. And um, yeah, what can we say? She changed she, her yes, whole life. She changed but was her it worrying when you when you conceived? <clears throat> no, what happened was we had uh, difficulty. Yeah, we had and you planned it and you thought about we it. We planned it and planned it and went through a lot of difficulties. Uh, you know, we had to go to India and yeah. you know, a um, lot of um, issues. Um, and she's a special operations. child because the fact that you all wanted her so yeah, much. Yeah, yes. operations yeah. and all that and and uh, so that's why I mean we got married in 2001 but we had her in 2010. Later. And I must say there are some stunning pictures and that's what we are going to get into. What's on Nihara's Facebook? Because he's not on it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the show. So, the person who I was speaking about, because I'll never rem forget that word that Chandan said, I have to go home, little one is waiting. And that was amazing. That was, I think, in 2011, if I'm correct, uh, that you told me this. And I remember that moment, it was at the Lionel went. And this is her, and it's a beautiful right. picture. I love this picture, though. Uh, <coughs> yeah. yeah, it's amazing, and I'm so happy that you guys have completed it. Were you always a very outspoken kind of a person, Nihara? Yes. Are you Since stubborn? My, uh, yes, to a certain degree, yes. Yeah. And you don't get impressed easily? No. Yeah. This Colombo society, no. No. film industry, nothing can <laughs> shake your ground. No. You know, yeah. but she runs one of my businesses. Yeah, you the know aviation it? one, yeah. right? Yeah, full on. I can see it in this picture. Oh my God! <laughs> what is that? This is school time. School time. Where was yes. this? What school are you uh, from? Musius. Musius right. College. And I yeah. see you here. <laughs> yes. Were you the riot? Oh boy, yes. <laughs> you <laughs> just you just talk to my principals <laughs> and see. They will disown you. <laughs> I think one day the the former principal had uh, met Chandran and, uh. and had come and sat next to him and said, You know your wife, she was from Musius, so he had said yes, that's right. And then she, she had said, you know, she was one of the naughtiest children we had in school. Mm. And he had turned back and said, you know, she's still the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I think she got such a shock. <laughs> and this was while you, while you were on that set? Oh, that's with Jessica Alba. Right. Yeah. That's, I did a film in uh, Borneo. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you were a person who was not impressed about his career, when he approached you, did you eventually started like educating yourself on what he actually does and did you have a liking towards it after that? No, not a liking but the, the fact that I'm not too much of a movie buff, I think kind of helps him especially with regards to reading the script. Yeah, you take a very neutral stance. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I see, a big asset to me. Yeah. So I see things that are not really I, I i feel is not right yeah you just um, say it. You're like, yes, yes. <laughs> and and especially sometimes with regards to casting and all that yeah. you know chandran is uh, sometimes uh, can be easily persuaded by people they come and say oh, sir can i have a yeah. part and all that so i have told him no way yeah. 
because you have to see that the person, however, you know, maybe it's just a <coughs> small uh, cameo role. But that role, has but to that, have the yes. value to it. Yes. And because you come yeah. from a from a viewer's point of that's view right. and not from yeah. a director or somebody yeah. who is yeah. in the scene. And very critical. Yeah. yeah. Very, very critical. critical. Yeah, that's, a, that's an asset to me. You know, the most important thing is you have to have uh, a critic that you can trust. Mm. Because now you walk out of a movie, everybody says, what a wonderful movie, what a wonderful movie. They got in there on an invitation. Yeah. You and know. they are there because yes. they've asked yeah, they to come. They are going to say, lovely yeah. movie. Yeah. So, so you, you need somebody. Now, I'm very fortunate. I have that. <coughs> I, have, I have four critics. Very good critics whom I respect. One okay. is my ex-wife. Right. Uh, in America. And my son who is a film editor and a director. Mm. And uh, uh, two sons. And uh, I mean son, daughter and, and her. Okay. So, if they say something, they have a reason for it. And they are coming from <coughs> a good place. Yes. Coming yeah. from a good place. That's very difficult to find. Mm. Because people like to satisfy you. People like to agree with you. People like to be on your side. Mm. Just so that they can benefit. Not necessarily. Not or they just to please. To yeah. you know, they, they want to be on your side because they love you and they care for you. and they. But that's not enough. That's not, that's not right. Mm. That's when not you do tough love. <laughs> yeah. You need some tough love. Uh, according to Matthew, is out now. And is it a relief? It that released, it's out. Yes, yes. And is it a relief that it's out because it no, took big so relief, long? Big relief, I know. big relief. And it was such one of your fond projects. You were yes. so proud. You were <laughs> so proud doing it, and you were very fond of it as well. I remember when you came on my show last time. You said that you met Father uh, Matthew in person, and you met him in prison when you were very young. Yes. Yeah. And um, how is it for you to see it on the big screen finally? Well, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a little overwhelmed by the reception. Mm. And also, it's a Sri Lankan story. Sri Lankan. Yeah, and yeah. I did not ex expect it to be uh, have such a overwhelming uh, presence in the in cinema. A lot of good reviews, and uh, and uh, so it was worth the wait. Yeah, and worth the wait, and worth the trouble, and worth the energy. Yeah, Nihara. Before we wrap things up on the show, I think you are full of life. Thank Where you. have I seen you? You are full of energy. <laughs> you have a thousand things to say, and you're full of life and just up for anything and that's what's wonderful and I think you keep it going and, Thank you. and I've always found that so amazing and um, one of the biggest compliments that I have ever received in my life is uh, so there's a film that I acted <laughs> never got released <laughs> because it's in storage somewhere uh, Chandram was one of the producers of the film and it was the first red camera shoot for Sri Lankan cinema yes, and right. Chandram saw the movie after one and a half years and you called me at 11.30 in the night I we was were amazed by your I, uh, I was nearly asleep. Oh, I was actually <coughs> asleep. And it was your phone, so I picked up. You said, oh, I liked the movie and I liked your acting. And I was like, that for me was the biggest. Thank like, you, I, was, I, I, I was not sad that it was never released. But I was happy that I was able to share an experience yeah. and But it was an amazing from. performance. But uh, it was still not re uh, no. released. No. I don't think it will ever release. It will be released when I'm gone. <laughs> In memory of him. <laughs> <laughs> Because yeah. if it releases now, I don't look like the same person. Yeah, but I, I was telling you something. It can be released. Oh. Uh, you know, we'll discuss yeah. it. Okay, fine. But it can be released. Let's find a way then. Mm. Oh, brilliant. Yes. Uh, thank you so very much. Thanks for all what you do to the entertainment industry. Thanks for creating stories and moments for us to go and watch and enjoy and have it in an archive saying it's a true Sri Lankan production. And uh, thank you for adding the juice on the show. But your <laughs> love story has to be a movie. Cast somebody for you. <laughs> How about myself? Yeah. <laughs> Thank, uh, you. It, Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a wrap on the show. It, it was ended up as a real feel-good, heartwarming show and that's what's amazing. Uh, we will see you with another brilliant episode. Till then you keep smiling. It's a wrap on the show. This is Hi TV, your luxury channel.